service-oriented architectures for successful business enterprises and modern public administrations, towards the integrated working of specialist departments and information technology, an introduction from the Fraunhofer Focus SOA Lab. It's all too common in enterprise and public administration alike. Too often, a lack of understanding between specialist departments on the one hand and technology experts on the other inhibits modernization processes on all levels. The departmental view of processes is heavily geared to tasks and documents. Its main concern is how to deal best with new departmental requirements within preset time and cost frames. Information technology should therefore aim to automate workflows and raise efficiency levels. Yet the technical view of processes within a company is more focused on operational aspects of information technology, like the smooth trouble-free commissioning of new systems, stability of applications, and availability and integrity of information. Even when both these views co-mingle when working on the joint realization of an IT project, it's often the case that technology is not seen as a tool for facilitating processes, but rather as a benchmark in itself for defining optimal basic conditions. Even so, the fact remains that IT technology and organizational processes are really two sides of the same coin. For instance, when they are both flexibly combined in a service-oriented architecture, so flexibly that all requirements can be quickly and easily integrated and adapted. So flexibly that legacy systems can be integrated, staff members involved at their place of work, and the whole system can run at low costs. The principle of a service-oriented organization is to use open service interfaces to provide existing systems like databases or application programs as services. These open interfaces enable all users and all processes to access these functionalities while also allowing for seamless cooperation and data exchange between individual processes. A service-oriented approach eliminates media discontinuities in interaction between different processes, moving away from standalone solutions to fully integrated services. Even highly complex process structures can be integrated in this way. One big advantage of such an abstracted approach is the greatly enhanced flexibility it offers when it comes to dealing with new sets of demands, both from the organizational side and in terms of the technology itself. For instance, this means that specialist procedures can be very rapidly integrated within administrative structures and that the telecommunications division can respond flexibly to market-driven demands for new kinds of services. A service-oriented architecture covers each and every level within an organization. Business processes, business services, the integrated composition level, IT services, and the actual IT infrastructure itself. Two approaches are used in setting up such an architecture the top-down approach considers the business processes and derives business services from them, which can either be offered to customers or used in the company's own daily business operations. The bottom-up approach addresses the IT systems and strives to define those IT services and business services which best support daily operations. To implement these two strategies on a joint basis, there is a set of software tools which enable composition of business services and IT services as complex automated business processes. Other software tools enable the targeted monitoring of these processes, while the results of such process analysis allow corresponding optimizations to be made on the flexible architecture. One vital point for the long-term viability of the concept is rigorous definition of and compliance with rules and areas of competence within the newly created service landscape. SOA governance is the concept that covers all the requisite measures. Its focus is very much on the life cycle of a service. From development and operation to deactivation, each phase is regulated by clearly defined areas of responsibility. So-called service registries facilitate management of the broad array of new services. 
Distribution of areas of competence between organizational processes and IT functionalities calls for the clear definition of areas of competence and those persons responsible for communication across the whole of the organization. Service-oriented architectures are the modern, integral, forward-looking approach to the IT-driven realization of business strategies. SOA binds the organization and its IT in one single harmonized management concept. The Fraunhofer Focus SOA Lab and its industry partners are there to ensure that this management concept is implemented effectively and efficiently in your own organization, right from the word go.